um, I'm, I'm going to finish the missing video for assignment two, Kung Fu Panda. Um, and so I think what I where I think I left off was um, I started uh, creating this shape in the dark candle for for the dark candles. Now let me um, just show you what I have where I'm starting with. So here's my layers. I have the large candles, Ugwe, Shifu, the light candles, and you can see this the large candles are the closest to the viewer, so they're on top. Then the two characters are next behind those candles. Then the lighter candles, you can see them, you know, this is Shifu's in front of those lighter candles. Then the darker candles, and then this black background. So this is in the correct order. So that's my layers. Also, if you look at my swatches, um, this is, now let me just, I just changed how they're viewed. So here's a small thumbnail. So this is, um, these are dark candles up front. And then um, Udwe, Shifu, lighter candles, dark candles. Okay. Or we can view them um, here as a small list view. And so now we're seeing Udwe as a, Udwe swatches as a folder, and I can um, close those up. Does that make sense? We're, it's the same thing, it's just a different way to view it. And to change how you're viewing it, you'd go up to this little flyout menu, which is the three, three lines, and then change it from there. Okay, and um, these are also in closest to you than the two characters and the light candles and the dark candles. So I've tried to arrange things so it makes sense. All right, so my next thing here is to, so what I've done, let me just zoom in a little bit closer you can, so you can see what's going on. I've outlined all of the dark candles. Um, I've also outlined the wicks, and I'm going to, uh, the flames I'm going to do later on, but I will do a flame to show you what's going on with that. Um, currently on this dark candle layer, um, which is what I'm working on, I can use this target, uh, which is, a, 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 I call a meatball. If you click on the meatball, it will select everything in that layer. Okay, And so you can see, because everything's green here, it's all on the same layer. And if we look in layers, the only thing that's selected here is, you can see everything that's selected has this little green um, indicator here. All right, so now I'm going to join the wick with the, with the candles, and I'm going to do that with the Shape Builder tool. So notice everything is selected, you know, the things that I want to join, and then I'll draw a line and you can kind of see a little faint trace of a line behind under my cursor. And I'll just make a, a path that connects them. Um, and why am I doing this? Because as I've looked, I looked close at, oops, um, and I'm using the space bar, the hand tool to move around rather than the scroll bar is just so much easier. I noticed that the color of the dark candles and the wicks associated with it are basically the same color. So you will I'll point out a little bit later, but we can you can even see it through this little screen they have that the dark candles start dark and they blend up to a lighter to a lighter color up here. And whether if the wicks are at the bottom, they're the same color in that blend as as where it is in the blend. And if you go up here, the wicks are lighter because it's higher up in the blend. So joining them made a lot of sense to me, um, just so I wouldn't have to go and sample a bunch of colors and then color these wicks separately. Just keep it part of this blend. Okay. Now, another thing I've done is I've 
I've kept my outline um, kind of a brown. I found some brown in Oudway and then kept it at 0.25 so that's really thin. I don't want to color it quite yet. I still want to see what's going on behind it because I have a lot of work to do on these shapes. Um, and then I'll color it and then I'll get rid of the stroke. Okay, so I'm going to go to my pencil tool. This is the last thing I selected, so when I deselect it, those attributes are still captured. And then um, I'll begin drawing. Now, you'll, let me point out one thing that is happening here. Um, when I, I click and I'm start and I'm drawing a path, I'm starting at one side and I just trace around the entire path till I get to the beginning point. Notice the little circle that shows up next to my pencil. That means Illustrator recognizes this as a fully complete shape. If you don't have that, um, go into the pencil tool, double click on it to pencil tool options. Make sure again, make sure you're. Um, sliders down at accurate, but here this is the selection that closes the paths, and I changed it to 10 points. So when I'm close to 10 points close to the path, it will close it up for me. I want that on. And I'm not going to complete this entire um, A movie still in one go. Um, I'm and I and I don't think I need to. I'm just going to show you um, how to get around, how to complete things, and I'll let you um, figure out how to do the rest yourself. Now there'll be parts that. May need some special attention. Um, like, I'll probably jump to the characters in just a minute here. But let me point this out too is that I can draw underneath or through shapes because this is the lighter candles, they'll be in front of it. So they, it, they will cover up um, this mistake, or not mistake, but that's how I'm joining things together. And notice I'm joining this big shape with a line running through everything. Well, the light candles are going to cover up that, and the characters, and the large candles, so you won't even see where this path ends. Okay, I'm um, just going to do a touch more so we can just get a good feel of uh, maybe how to do these candles a little bit more. Now I'm just using a mouse. Um, if you have like a, a pencil or something, um, lucky you, M more power to you. This that this will be great, and I think a little easier for you. But um, mouse, it's completely doable with mouse. Okay, I, I think you're getting the idea of this. So let me complete this layer and then just hide it. So how I'm going to complete it is I'm going to select the, the shape of all these candles and I'll just put a big blend in it. I want to make sure it's on the correct layer, dark candles, which it is. And <clears throat> then I'm going to do a gradient. I have the shape selected. To do a gradient, I'm going to bring up my gradient palette. So I'll go to Window and go to Gradient. Um, I'm going to drag this into this little sidebar, which keeps it in a compressed state. When you click on it, you're, you, it's, this is exposed, and then you can use the Fast Forward button to put it away. OK, so what I want to do is um, make this gradient as my fill. So it's kind of a weird way to do it, but you gotta you gotta drag you gotta make this gray. Okay. 
and then we can put our colors in here. So I'm going to detach this, go to my swatches, and under my dark candles, I will put in um, uh, so since I have these already captured here, I don't think I can do this. Let me try it. Yeah, I guess I can. So there's one way to just drag it right on top of these little markers in the gradient. I'm going to control Z that. Another way to do it is to click on that gradient, double click, and you get your little pop-up with all of your um, um, all of your swatches. Okay. Now, notice that um, I'm going from light to dark, and it, dark should be at the bottom on bottom to top instead of left to right. So, um, right now this is at zero degrees, and I'll just change this to to ninety. So now we're going from dark to light. And um, if you get your gradient tool, um, you can see a lot more information is on the artboard rather than in the palette. So here's my gradient. I could move this diamond around to adjust and move my um, markers around to adjust the gradient. You see what's going on. Um, yeah, you could increase, you know, make it a really gradual blend or a little more precise. But that's that's the gradient tool. It has to go black and white again, and then you can put some color to it. Okay, and as for these little shapes in here, um, first of all, I'm going to get rid of the uh, the outline on. Oh, let me see. Gradient. Yeah, this should be none. So let's let's hide that. And we're gonna change the stroke to none. Now it didn't really take, did it? For some reason. So what I do in, in these cases when it's kind of acting weird, I'm selecting it. It's, I'm seeing an outline, but down here it shows no outline, which is a little bit odd. So I'm going to go to um, Appearances. Yeah. So when you have a shape, um, the appearance panel will give you some information on that shape, and this shows a stroke as none. So what I'm going to do is um, um, I'm going to clear the appearances on this. Mm, that is just not okay. Now we're seeing some stuff. Um, so I'm going to change this to a no, f um, a none. In fact, I can. Oh, there it did it leave. No. I'm going to clear appearances on it. So that got rid of my um, my gradient, but it also got rid of the stroke. I was having such a hard time getting rid of that stroke. So let's try to. Put, um, oh, so there it is. It's still in my uh, gradient palette. And we need it at 90. And it looks like everything is still captured, dark to light. OK, that's, that's where we want. And we don't have a outline on this. I did miss a few oh, candle wicks here, didn't I? So what I'm going to do is select all of those, and then I'll go to my Shape Builder and just connect them to join them to a path. So now they're one big path. Oops. And they, yeah, they all do not, wow. They all do not, should not have an outline. 
So we can just delete that. I don't know why that came out a little bit weird, but it did. Okay, so now I want to select all of these and change them to kind of a yellowy gray. So I'm going to use my selection tool and I'm going to make a selection box around them. Now I have selected all of those, but I also selected the yellow, so the yellow candles. So to unselect the candles, I'm going to hold down Shift and then um, actually, sorry, Command, and I'm going to click on, oops, did that do it? Ah, okay. Big selection, hold down Shift, click on the back on the gradient candle, and now I just have these selected. Great. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, make my make the stroke none. We got into trouble with that one, but learn from our mistakes. And I'll go down to my dark candles and I'll put um, maybe it, yeah okay. So there we go. Now this one's weird because it has a little. I should knock take knock that out kind of you know it's a shape that I should see the background behind so I've selected both one first one holding down shift now I'm selecting the second and then I'm going to use a shape builder and once again holding down alter option I'm going to click on that to get rid of it okay good so now and you know obviously you just continue to do that for all of the um, let's see, is this? Oh. I don't know why that's reverting. Uh, just making some adjustments here. Let's see. Okay. All right, so then you would complete this layer basically, and then once that's done, I'm gonna um, I w I'm gonna hide mine so I don't see it anymore. Now I didn't put in the black background, but I'll do that now. I'm gonna use a rectangle tool, and I'm gonna make sure that I'm in the black background uh, layer. Then I'll make a rectangle over. The area that needs to be seen, I mean, it's going to be behind the candles and everything, but once that turns black, let's get, change that to our... Black right there. And yeah, so there's our black. We could turn on those candles to see how things look, and it's looking, looking pretty good. So far, so good. But in the end, we want to hide those so we can move on with Shifu. Okay. So we're going to work on Shifu for a bit. Um, okay, and I'm in the right layer. Now, um, it's important to kind of think of this in, in layers. You can move it around when you're done, but um, it's important to kind of consider what's going to go first, what's in front. The head is in front of the body, okay? Um, we could build the head and then place it in front of the body. That's, that's fine. Um, notice that we can see the back of this cloth, then a leg sticks out, and then there's the front of the cloth. So that's important that this back cloth is behind the legs, and then the legs are behind this. And then even this uh, wrap is in front of the um, uh, his robe. Okay, I'm just going to focus on the face. I think there's enough going on here where we need to be kind of careful. Okay, um, so I'm going to make sure that I'm not drawing in black, but maybe with a stroke of green again. And then I'm going to make sure that I'm instead of a one point, it's a 0.25, so it's very thin. Okay. Um, so some of the very base things that we need to do are to make um,
uh, there's an ear shape going on. Try the other ear shape. Then we'll do the face. Oops, now I did kind of so I messed up right there. I'm gonna So if I want to remove some of these points, anchor, point, anchor points, I'll use the direct selection tool and delete um, a few. And then I can rejoin them. And I'm going to use the pencil tool and um, yeah, OK. OK, I did have some little mess ups down here. So to edit, I'm going to be close to the line. And I'm going to end up close to the line, and that will um, like kind of accept the edit. Okay. Um, okay, we can keep drawing shapes on here. It, it would be helpful. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do on this one, instead of trying to retrace this line, I'm going to start out here, and. And connect that back up. I'll do the same here. I'm going to start outside the shape. Okay. And then, um, well, why don't we why don't we uh, get this going here? So what I'm going to do is select all of these things and just simplify it a little bit with the Shape Builder. I know this head, it needs to have all of these um, shapes as one shape. And I unselected it, so I'm going to select it again. I'm going to hold down Alt or Option on the Mac and click on the shapes that I don't want there. Um, yeah, I found there's one down here too. And um, then there's this other shape that I'm going to draw, which is right through here. And it's just it's just easier to you know go outside the shape and continue it, and then delete it later using that shape builder. Oops, I think that shape actually cuts off in here. Okay, so then I'll select all of these, Shape Builder, um, connect those, connect these, okay, and then I'll grab all of these. We'll connect those two, and then connect these. Okay, so now we're getting closer and closer. Um, Go back to our pencil tool, draw the inside of the ear here, and the inside of the ear. Here, okay. Um, and go to our shape builder, join those, join the face into one. All right, so. Um, I'm tempted to color the ears, but I think I'm going to continue splitting up this face into the correct 
shapes. Um, yeah, okay, so here we go. Um, pencil tool. Now, you know, just, yeah, that's okay. So I'm gonna select all those, shape builder, remove that, join, join, join. So see how we're breaking up shapes? This is gonna be so easy to color, so much easier to color. We'll go back to our pencil tool. And uh, connecting that shape, okay. Select this whole area, and I'm going to use the Shape Builder again. It's a Shift M. So I like looking at um, keyboard shortcuts so um, I can get to places easier if needed. But join all that together. Okay, it's going going great. Um, let's do the eyes. Well, the brows first, right? And we'll select this whole area and shape builder again. Now it does get a little more complicated here, doesn't it? Um, join that, join that, join those, join that, join that. Okay, then we'll make the eye circles and Side. Great. And then we'll just select these shapes and we'll join those together with the Shape Builder tool. So those and those. And then we're making the next bit of shapes. Great, okay. I don't even need to cut those out. Well, I will on the nose. And then I'll do this little bit up here. Yeah, so that one will join up a bit. I'm going to zoom in so I don't mess that one up. See, I actually kind of feel like those are the same. Yeah. Okay. All right. So far, so good. And. And we have this nose. Um, that's all one shape. Let's see. Um, hmm. Well, okay. I'm going to do this because I think I saw two different colors in there. And I'll select the whole area. And here we get kind of complicated, but join, join. Oops. No, I didn't want to do that, I don't think. Hmm. I'm going to control Z that. Okay, here we go one more time. So I think it's going to be like here. Um, <laughs> yeah, here, which may exactly be what I did last time, but we'll see. Okay. Um, okay, select the whole area. We're going to join some stuff. Oy. Let me do, I actually wanted to join. I don't even think that hooked up. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay, so joining all this, Shape Builder, join that up, join this, this, that. 
um, that. This is part of the same. I think that's part of the same. Connections. Okay. Okay. And then we have, um, oh boy. And we have our eyes. And this nose is kind of um, attached. So I'll select this whole area, Shape Builder, connect these. Yep. And then I have um, this little white um, area, which looks something like that. And I'll select this whole area and um, join that together and this. Yeah, okay. Um, the eye self and then some of the different features. Join stuff together. And you may be watching this on um, high speed, I would. <laughs> um, pencil tool. So there's this dark area um, that really should be like here to here. So then we'll select the whole area and uh, can just connect some stuff so it looks right. Okay. Then we have the shape at the bottom here, which looks. all that and begin joining. Okay. okay. <sighs> We're getting really, really, really close. Um, let's start coloring the face. Let's bring up our um, Shifu palette. Okay, so, um, oh boy, I have to just pull that off. Nope, I need to go a little darker on that. So notice that I don't have the right color on this. So what I'm going to do is with that selected, I'm going to click new. And then here's my new swatch and I need to go a little darker. So I'm going to put some black in it and then OK it. Here's the new one and there it is right there. So I'll put that on top. Oops. And then we got to get it here too. Um, this has got to go nice and dark. This is nice and dark. That and that. 
confused as that. Oops. That both use this one, I think. And here's another thing. If I just didn't have the color, I could just use my eyedropper with these selected and click on them. And then I have the color now. That should be dark. This and this and that should all be that color. And then this muzzle, that color. This shape will also go to that color. And then this is going to go kind of whitish green. Whoops. Yeah. That's going to go cream. And then this one over here is going to go cream. Um, white for cream. That is the same color as this. This and this are both um, cream. That and then, oops, this are both that color. This this color and then the inside of the ears are these colors okay and then I'm going to select all of them and remove the stroke change it to a none so there's our um, face and then we could use the pen tool or even the um, this one's this line segment or even uh, we'll just use the pencil tool I'll do that, but this time we're going to, um, yeah, and maybe we need to reduce that down a little bit, maybe to 0.5. Yeah, that should be just right. Okay, so we're, this is, this is kind of how how that comes together. Anyway, hopefully this helped a lot. Um, yeah, maybe we should just show, turn off the art. Yeah, so there's that great little face. Um, looks better the further back you get. <laughs> but um, this, is, um, this is how you'd continue and finish this. Um, this uh, Kung Fu Panda image. All right, hope that helped, thanks.